Tarzan ran stealthily across the rooftops. Then, with a mighty leap... Ow! That really hurt. It's a crisp, bright morning. The sun just starting to rise. Time to be up and about. I think while I'm here, I might as well do a little looting before breakfast. Oh, a jack-in-the-box. Time for you to take a little nap, Jack. Oh, those will come in handy. Now we're talking. Time to be stealthy. I guess some of you may think I'm a coward, but I'm telling you, a brave Tarzan is a dead Tarzan. In the jungle, a wise gorilla doesn't pick a fight, doesn't know it can win. Not unless the troops in danger. Coffee, how did I miss these earlier? Oh, that's useful. Make cloth out of plant fibers. Where did they come from? Talk about being sneaky. I have one thing to say to you. That involves the point of the spear. Or this one. Ah, that was satisfying. did he actually come from? Darn if I can see. Gotta get a bit more cloth bandages. Bit of breakfast. Now to explore the rest of the house. Oh, 
That sounds like more than one. Yes, yes, I know. But I intend to come out of this alive, not out of them as zombie poop. This more like it for you. Tarzan ran stealthily across the rooftops. Then, with a mighty leap... Ow! That really hurt. I would never have missed that jump when I was younger. And if I had, I wouldn't have landed so hard. It sucks growing old. Brother, perhaps I'm the one who should have been called bananas for brains. I guess I better make a splint. <laughs> or reminds me of how we both got our names, my brother and I. We fought when we were children, the way siblings do. Well, I say fought, it was more a case of me being regularly pummeled. I was never a match for any of the real gorillas physically. Tarzan bullied as a child. That's not something you ever see in the films, is it? I guess it doesn't fit with the image they want to portray. So I was never a match for them physically, but I had a different way of looking at things. It's not a case of being clever at the gorillas. They're so clever. Just that I saw and understood things differently. So on one occasion, I, I guess I was probably nine or ten, I led my brother away from the rest of the troop to where I'd set up a sort of trap to get my own back on him. It worked beautifully. He chased me, he tripped a tripwire and whack! branch right in his face. He was so mad. I was quite scared. I I ran up into the into the branches and he followed me. And I leapt from one tree to another. Again he followed me, but the the branch we both landed on gave way under our combined weight. And we fell. I sort of caught some other branches on the way down, but he fell really heavily. And it was obvious he was badly hurt. 
the leg was broken. And all, all rivalries were forgotten. He was my brother after all. And Griffiths look after their own. We were too far from home and he, he, he couldn't stand. His leg was bent weirdly and I, I pulled it straight. He hardly made a sound. I tried to support him to walk, but he, he was just too heavy. So I, I made a splint and I strapped it to his leg and a sort of crutch. He hobbled back towards the troop. But we'd gone further than I realised and night came upon us. Then we were really scared. We knew what could happen if we were caught by a predator on the ground. An adult gorilla maybe would be okay, but at that age to us a leopard was a real danger. He was too badly hurt and in too much pain to, to climb properly. So I, I made a sort of pulley with a vine wrapped around his, under his arms and over a branch and with me pulling and him, him scrambling, we managed to get up off the ground and into the canopy. And there we waited out the night. And that's where they found us in the morning. Scared, but now more brothers than we'd ever been before. I thought Papa would be angry with me. But my brother told exactly what had happened. And Papa just said, you'll be called bananas for brains. So that was when he got his, I guess you might call it adult name. And it, it's not an insult the way we might think of a name like that. Just a reminder, a reminder that he'd been foolish. Foolish to allow himself to fall into a trap like that. Foolish to chase and bully his brother. So his name was just, you might think of it as a reminder, a reminder to think and be wise. And I also got my adult name that day, the name Jane later translated as Tarzan. So what does my name mean, you ask? Scrawny but smart. They learnt and, and recognised fully that day that while I was weaker than them, physically, I still had something valuable to offer to the troop, a different way of doing and looking at things. I tell you, the first time I speared a fish in the river and brought it back to to eat, they were well impressed. But today, today I'm bananas for rains, and I have to limp home, tail between my legs. <sighs> Only I don't even have a tail. What on earth is this thing? <sighs> Don't know, maybe it'll be useful. I think I should stick to something easy for the rest of the day.
Oh, potatoes. Can't go wrong with potatoes. Mm, that looks good. Lucky goggles. Wonder if those are like magic beans. I guess we find out. Tell you what else I could do with some forged iron so I can make some repair kits for some of my tools. Thank you, survivor. More vitamins. Yippee. Oh, that might come in handy. Particularly after my experiences today. Can you help me with my God bless you and good luck? Now if I can just make some padded boots to put that mod in. Hopefully I won't then injure my leg quite as often. Tonight I think I'm just going to try and sit tight and get some sleep. No fuss, no messing around, no zombie hordes. <laughs> 